Hey guys, this is x Phrase here. Today, we're talking about PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator. Um, so this PlayStation 2 emulator is just a PlayStation 2 emulator that you can play PlayStation 2 games on your PC. Um, it does require, um, a pretty good computer um it requires certain types of uh it requires a good computer um i mean you can run it on budget hardware if you want to um anything with the intel i3 and with anything probably uh amd radeon or nvidia we're running this even newer generation intel processors may work a lot better than um than uh a intel celeron i have tried it on intel celeron doesn't work all that great um you're probably better off emulating p uh psp games on a Intel Celeron, um, which I will do a video on that eventually, but not right now. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to do a PC that SX2, uh, tutorial. Um, but yeah, um, you can go to the download right here, and I personally would go with the nightly build. But if you still want the stable release, you can do the stable release. Uh, but just noting, this video will not help you. Um, just noting that. Um, the nightly builds is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be right here. I don't really see the difference between these. I don't know the difference. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, you can download this. Um, I, it will not give you a link to the BIOS or how to download games. I will then give you the link to the emulator, just to be clear. So, whenever you get the emulator, you will eventually... Get the PCX2, you want to extract it with 7-Zip. You have to have 7-Zip or WinRAR, um, which not everyone would have on their computer. So you mainly want to drag this to, my, to your local disk, but I already have it downloaded and I don't need to do that. Um, so the PCX2, uh, you would just double click on it and uh, it says add game directly or scan for new games. You don't want to do that yet. You want to go to settings and then BIOS. And you want to click browse and you want to go to your PCSX2. Wait, no, not PCSX2. Uh, you want to go to your folder where it's your ROMs, and then BIOS, and then you click select folder, and all your BIOS is that you found or got would, uh, would go right here. Um, I personally am gonna do widescreen, um... And you also want to select your adapter for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, which is mine. Um, I'm honestly going to do eight times. And... Uh, because I haven't tested eight times on here. So we're going to uh, just test everything. Um... But yeah, um, okay, um, we should be good, um, okay, 
So, um, you just want to go back here and add game directory. You want to go to where you have your ROMs and then here, if you have it like that. Um, so I'm going to be testing Midnight Clubs 3 Dub Edition with you guys. Um, I have fast boot disabled. Just if you guys want to know what setting I turned off to get the PS2 BIOS. Um, is, uh, is simply, um, is simply, uh, turn off fast boot. Um, I'm going to be using a keyboard to control the game so far, right, right now, um, which will, um, We're going to arcade. Well, as you can see, it's working fully. You're playing a PlayStation 2 game on your PC. Um, but yeah, it's working. So to play with mouse and keyboard, it's it's W A Z and J and K to if you're playing a racing game. Um, I'm not sure about a fighting game. Um, you will probably want to play a, with a controller for that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video, show you guys some gameplay on the PS2 emulator nightly version, and yeah. Um, we had a little hiccup right there. Um, it, I can't do 8K on this computer, or it might have been the game itself. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna get going, guys. Um, I'm gonna go experiment with other emulators right now. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and please like and subscribe if this helped you. Um, but yeah, uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.